Good morning, neighbors! Even though it's probably not morning by the time you're watching this, so just... Here's the review. Hey there, guys. What's going on? Welcome back to yet another brand new movie review. And as always, I thank you all so much for stopping by. And I hope you enjoy your stay. But this time around, we are looking at Coming to America, a sequel that was supposed to hit theaters actually last Christmas, but due to obvious circumstances, has made its way over to Amazon Prime. Some people think this is a worthy sequel to the excellent original, and others just think it's a retread. Needing a male heir to the throne, Prince Akeem, played once again by Eddie Murphy, returns to Queens to find his long-lost son and bring him back home to Zamunda. Guys, I I loved the original film from 1988. This was at the peak of Eddie Murphy's rise to stardom, and a lot of people consider it to be his signature role. And he is once again very good as Akeem. I was so happy to see him doing what he does best in front of the camera once again, entertaining us. I will say that I feel like he definitely brings a lot more poise and range to the role this time around. And there's definitely a lot of parallels, and you can feel that to the original film, because now he's King Akeem. Yeah, I don't consider consider that a spoiler, and this is as far as I'll get on that front. James Earl Jones is also in this film as Akeem's father, and yeah, as awesome as it was to see him again, his appearance is predictably brief. Without saying who's involved, his scene definitely has a very interesting cameo that I was not expecting in the slightest. And not just Murphy and Jones, we get all of these actors returning to play the roles we loved seeing them in back in 1988, especially Arsenio Hall as Semi, who is is once again the butt of every joke from his peers. And his reactions to everything going on, like in the first film, priceless. And speaking of, I also love that we get a couple more barbershop scenes like we did in the first one. Those were some of my favorite parts of that first film because I just found them so gut-bustingly funny. And those scenes are no exception here. And despite the movie's PG-13 rating, which we'll certainly talk about in a second, I felt like this movie did have a tendency to be very crude despite that. Much like the first film, the shock value does provide for some very fun moments in this sequel. And one other thing that I really respected about this film is is that it actually spends a lot more time in Zamunda than it does in Queens. And Zamunda looks absolutely gorgeous. The cinematography, the production design, the costumes, everything all melds together so perfectly to create this absolutely majestic kingdom that we only saw briefly in the first film. And that brings me into a bunch of my issues that I had with Coming to America, which... Yeah, let me just answer the million dollar question right now. The original is definitely better. This film unfortunately feels more like a retread of the first one than it does an actual sequel. Which is funny because, again, okay, mild spoiler, there's actually a discussion between a couple of characters about American cinema and the state of it, and they're joking about how there's all these unnecessary sequels and remakes coming out. Definitely reap what you sow, my prince. And it really shouldn't feel like a retread because, like I just mentioned, this movie actually does spend a lot more time in Zamunda. Then again, it kind of makes the title a little bit misleading, doesn't it? The movie also thinks it's so self-aware of the long-awaited or unnecessary sequel trope in Hollywood these days. But like I said, this definitely feels like a retread. You just reverse the settings a little bit from the first film, and boom, you have a sequel. And that, to me, kind of makes the script feel very hypocritical of itself. And that's another thing, guys. I unfortunately did not find this script as funny as I wanted it to be. Even though though there were times I was laughing at certain points, especially with the older characters. There were also times where a lot of the jokes they were going for just kind of fell with a whimper, and I was kind of left shaking my head at the sheer absurdity of it all rather than rolling on the floor laughing my ass off. And I think part of that has to do with the PG-13 rating, which is a very common criticism I'm noticing, and... I don't disagree. The original film, as I mentioned, came out at the peak of Eddie Murphy's rise to fame. And if you guys know this, <laughs> believe me, you know. The Eddie Murphy of the 80s was a raunchy, raunchy man. If you don't believe me, just go watch his stand-up acts from the 80s. There's two of them that I recommend, Delirious and Raw. Trust me, you'll thank me for it later. Those acts are just sheer, unfiltered, unadulterated raunch. But in Coming to America, it just feels like the shackles are on. And as a result, the movie can't really be as funny as it wants to be without the R rating. And I still honestly don't 
don't understand why this movie couldn't be rated R. It's not like it was coming out in theaters and they couldn't worry about people sneaking in to see it. It just didn't feel right to me. And this all brings me into my biggest issue with this film, and I hate to say it, but it's the new characters that they introduced. Unlike the Star Wars sequel trilogy, where they introduced new and interesting and exciting characters in addition to the old while paying beautiful tribute to those old trilogies, the new characters that are introduced and coming to America, I sadly found very boring and hollow, quite frankly. Just to be clear, I don't have any issues with these performers by any stretch of the imagination. I think Leslie Jones can be very funny. I think Jermaine Fowler as young Lavelle definitely has his flashes of charisma in this movie, as forced as his introduction was. It all goes back to a quite lousy script. It does these performers no favors, in my opinion. Because I hate to sound like a broken record... It just feels like a rehash to me. Which again, I admire their effort. I really love how Zamunda looks. I love seeing these older actors again, especially Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall. I just wish the movie hadn't messed with these characters the way they did. Because without spoiling anything, there are times where I feel like the scripts completely ignores what made these older characters so admirable in the first one. And as a result, the movie struggles to maintain who these people are while also trying to recreate the magic of the original. Which is is really the movie you should all be watching anyway. Nevertheless, I'm gonna give Coming to America a C. Yeah, this isn't a horrible movie, but I sadly didn't find this to be the greatest sequel. As I've mentioned, I thought it was really nice to see a lot of these actors return for this film. Eddie Murphy especially is very solid, but what bogs this down from being an instant comedic classic is a clumsy script and uninteresting new characters being introduced. This is just one guy's opinion though. What did you guys think of Coming to America? Do you agree with me? Do you not? Do you guys also prefer the original? I would love, love, love to discuss all of your thoughts all down in the comments. Because I love what I do here. I love discussing cinema and all things entertainment with all of you beautiful viewers out there. And if these are topics that sound appealing to you, if you guys are liking what you're seeing from my videos, please consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below as hard as you possibly can. Especially if you're new or if you haven't hit that button already, because you guys will be the first ones to know any time a new upload hits hits my channel and it's also free and just a reminder if you enjoyed the video also please be sure to leave a thumbs up on your way out that would be awesome and as always look out for more exciting content hitting this channel very very soon you guys are the best and with all that being said back talk commence <laughs>